They all agree the trial should be moved out of Bardstown for the men facing charges in the disappearance of Crystal Rogers. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us at 5 o'clock. I'm Doug Prophet. Today in court, the prosecution agreeing there should be a change of venue in the case. The Bardstown mother of five disappeared over 4th of July weekend in 2015, and three men are charged in connection to her death. Two of them appeared in person in front of a judge today, both Brooks Houck and Steve Lawson walking into the courtroom in shackles. Joseph Lawson appearing in front of the judge over video from the jail. Our Shay McAllister was in the courtroom this afternoon. She's got a new update from Nelson County. And uh, Shay, I guess uh, we're, you know, we're talking about the prosecution agreeing and the defense attorneys. We don't know yet where the judge stands on that change of venue. Right, and actually it sounds like likely the judge will end up accepting whatever the prosecution and the defense attorneys come to agree upon. They said they're going to have that conversation in the next month, and then in May they'll come and present their suggestion to the judge. It's likely the judge goes ahead and gives them the sign-off on that. When it comes to this case, though, and moving forward, we've had some really eventful court dates, huge bombshells dropped here and there. Today just wasn't that. Today was a perfect example of the reality of the justice system, and that is one where the re wheels move very slowly. Slowly. All right. Another court date in the Crystal Rogers case brings the opportunity for another bombshell. But this time, court was quick and attorneys were quiet. Everyone agrees the trial needs to be moved out of Nelson County, including the special prosecutor Shane Young. The venue should be changed. Um, I've talked to counsel. If I can judge, if I can tell you where we're at on it. I've talked to defense counsel. We're all three. Well, not all three. But all three parties are going to get together and talk and then make a proposal to your honor if we can come to an agreement. And if not, um, then we'll just let your honor tell us where to be in February of 25. February 2025, that's the current date for trial. Davis County and Boyd County are both on the table. Communities that are similar to Nelson County, but hours away. Rogers family friend Willie Downs doesn't think those miles will make much of a difference. It's nationally known. You ain't go just sweep it underneath the floor. The other three motions up for discussion today were pushed to another court date, now three months away. Attorney Ted Lavitt says he's eager to ask the judge to dismiss the charges against his client, Steve Lawson. He claims Lawson talked to police under a shield of immunity. At no time was my man never promised immunity. At all times he was promised immunity, in my presence and outside of my presence, before I got involved and after I got involved. And there's no question about that. He claims Lawson told police and the prosecutors the truth, but it wasn't the truth they wanted to hear. He said, this is the truth. This is all I know. I can't say what you're wanting me to say. I'm telling you what I know. And I and he did. He also described an inappropriate scene in the interrogation room, accusing investigators of mistreating his client. They hollered at him. They yelled at him. They screamed at him. They spit in his face. I was, I, I watched it on video. He asked me to come in and stop it. We returned several other times for meetings with the Commonwealth. They badgered him, but he cooperated. Ultimately, it will be up to the judge to decide what really happened and where this case will go from here. So here's what we have on the docket coming up in May. We anticipate we will learn where this trial will be held again. Davis County or Boyd County are what the defense attorneys have proposed. They'll work with the prosecution, come up with a final decision there. And then one month later in June, that's when all of those motions that were on the docket for today will actually be heard. And from what it sounds like, it's going to be a very lengthy day. It's going to start at nine in the morning. They'll go until they're done. And they did say that will include actual pieces of these interrogation tapes. Doug, this could be our first look at the evidence behind this case. Well, uh, let's talk about the change of venue and the locations you've been mentioning, uh, Shay. It's sort of polar opposites of the state. Davis County is Owensboro, Western Kentucky, Boyd County, Eastern Kentucky. You know, in the past, in really big cases, we have seen uh, some of these trials moved out of state, actually across the border. What kind of options do you think are possible with that? I think in this case, they're certainly trying to keep it in Kentucky. The only options we've seen have been in Kentucky and all of their examples for other trials like this case. 
always ended up in Kentucky. That's their goal. What they're actually trying to do here is match the community. They're looking for a, a rural community around the same size as Nelson County, but one that can still accommodate a huge case like this. In fact, today the judge shared his two big requirements, which is number one, he wants it to be a large courtroom that can accommodate a large showing from the public. And number two, he wants the courthouse to have a different entrance and exits for the jury. He wants to make sure that jury is kept out of the public eye. Doug. Okay, Shay, thank you very much as we tee it up for another big decision in this case, which of course has been full of many big decisions. Thank you, Shay.